So what does a typical workflow look like within Power BI Desktop from start to finish? How do you go from raw data to a finished report within Power BI Desktop? That's exactly what we're going to learn in this video. In the very first video of this Power BI Masterclass, we learned about the typical BI process, which consists of the following five steps. We start with data collection, then move on to data preparation, followed by data analysis and data visualization. And finally, we share the report and insights. Also, we have done a walkthrough of the Power BI Desktop user interface and learned that there are three main views within it, the report view, data view, and the model view. The report view is the default view when you first launch Power BI Desktop. Along with these three views, Power BI Desktop also includes the ever so powerful Power Query Editor, which opens in its own window. So in this video, we will learn and understand how we go from raw data to report within Power BI Desktop while following the five steps of the BI process. In line with this BI process, the typical Power BI workflow starts with connecting to the data source. For this, we use the get data functionality within the Power BI Desktop. This launches the Power Query Editor in its own window. The Power Query Editor extracts and loads a subset of the raw data for us to work with, which is typically around 1000 rows. This is to minimize the computer resource utilization and achieve efficiency. Now, the raw data coming from different sources is typically not clean, has formatting issues, and is not in the right shape for analysis and reporting purposes. For this reason, we have to perform data cleaning and transformation. Typically, this will involve removing unwanted columns, dealing with duplicate values and blanks, applying the right formatting, adding columns, renaming columns, merging queries, pending queries, and many, many more things in order to clean, format, and reshape data to make it ready for analysis and reporting. Once we are happy with the data, we press close and apply, which applies the transformations to the entire data set, closes the Power Query Editor, and loads the data into the Power BI data model. So typically we perform three key operations inside the Power Query Editor. First, extract raw data from the source. Second, transform the raw data into a clean and well formatted data. And finally, we load the clean data into the data model. In the world of data analytics and business intelligence, this process of extracting, transforming and loading data is commonly referred to as ETL. So we can also say that Power Query Editor is a very powerful ETL tool. Now, few things to note here. The transformations and changes that we did in Power Query Editor are only applied to the subset of the data that is available in the preview, which is typically around 1000 rows. Any of the transformations or changes we are doing are only done in memory in Power BI desktop. We are not changing the underlying data source and it remains unchanged. So far, we have made the connection to the source files and then we have transformed our data in the Power Query editor and then saved changes and loaded the data. All this activity makes up the data collection and data preparation part of the BI process. After pressing the close and apply, we leave the Power Query editor and return back to the main Power BI desktop. We can now begin with the actual data analysis. The analysis means we inspect the underlying data we have now, we explore the cleaned and transformed data, and we understand the information that we have. For this, we apply different calculations, we calculate sums, we calculate averages, we add information from different columns, and so on, all to make sure that we get insights into our data. Besides working with individual tables, we can also create entire data models in Power BI Desktop. In the model view, we can create relationships between different tables that we have to make sure we can access information from multiple tables in one single calculation. We will of course learn and master everything about creating, editing and managing table relationships and data modeling as part of this Power BI Masterclass. So this concludes the data analysis step and we have used the data view and the model view of the Power BI desktop for this purpose. Next, we switch to the report view. This is the area where we visualize the data. In the report view, we create charts and reports to visualize the data 
in effective and efficient way to make it easy for the end users to consume these insights and make informed decisions. In Power BI Desktop, a report consists of one or more pages where each individual page holds one or more visualizations. This step is usually referred to as data visualization and we do it inside the report view of the Power BI Desktop. Data visualization is usually the final development step in the Power BI workflow. To complete the process, next we publish the report to the Power BI service for sharing with the end users. So this is a typical example of workflow inside Power BI Desktop to go from raw data to a finished report. We will follow along the same workflow in the exercises during this Power BI Masterclass course. We will create many a dashboards where we go from raw data to a dashboard following the same workflow. Please note that although this is a typical example of a workflow, your individual workflow might differ from this one depending on your preferences and the project you are working on. So to summarize, we start with extracting and preparing the raw data inside the Power Query Editor, followed by data modeling and data analysis using the data view and the model view, and finally performing data visualization in the report view. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding the contents of this video, then do leave a comment. In the next video, we will apply what we learned so far in terms of the five-step BI process, in terms of the workflow within Power BI Desktop, and we will go from raw data to a finished report within Power BI Desktop. And this will be a very simple report. The idea is, for you to learn and practice the end-to-end -end process before we start diving deep into the functionality within Power BI Desktop. So I'll see you in the next video.